Hi everybody, this is Jennifer with Northwest Stamper and I am back to share with you uh, a little bit about one of my favorite projects from this uh, holiday supplement that just came out today. I'm really excited about it. Um, you may not have seen this, um, there's, an, and there's an online copy that's kind of hard to see what it is, but it basically it just has a few new things that are kind of cool um, that are great for December and for the holiday season, um, like these stars, like some more Project Life, especially December Daily, for those of you that are into that. And if you don't know what December Daily is, it's um, a way of really quickly preparing and then having a place for all your photos for everything that's going on in your daily life in December, um, and then some gifts. So this is what the supplement looks like. There's a cute new stamp set that matches the star framelit and goes really great with these boxes, which is what we're talking about today. Um, and then all those other things. You can find them on my website or there'll be a link at the YouTube video for this. So if you want to see more. Um, oh, one quick thing about this. Everything in here is while supplies last. So there is a chance that some things will sell out before uh, the before the before this ends, before Christmas time. Uh, a lot of it probably won't, but things like this just might. So I had to show you today my favorite project from the new um, supplement, which is this Merry and Bright, um, or not Merry and Bright, it's the Many Merry Stars Kit. And let me tell you, I was surprised at how, but can you tell, I don't know if you can even tell, this thing is monstrously large. It says that it's 15 inches by 15 inches, so it's huge. And the reason why it is that big is because of this, this behemoth star, which is awesome. I love it. You can see. So this is the Stampin' Up! grid paper. Oh, here, I'll flip it over. This is in centimeters, for those of you interested in centimeters. This is for inches. Uh, and so this is, let's see, this is 0 to 16 inches. Here's your star. Pretty big. Now, but the thing is, is isn't it so stinking cute? And the best part is, it's so super easy. Now, the big question everyone has, is this a box that opens? Is it a 3D thing? It is just a 3D box. As of right now, it does not open. Now, I am planning on getting creative. You could put your own little opening back here so you could have a flap so you could pull a little piece up and get to inside. Um, or I'm sure there'll be other creative things. So as I figure those out, I'll share them on my blog, northweststamper.com. But in the meantime, I want to show you how easy it is to make a box. So here's the big box. And yes, everything you see in here is comes in the kit, die cut, and ready to go. Um, these are two of my other little boxes because that's the big one, but there's, there are 26 boxes. So it's $25.95 in the U.S. and you get 26 boxes. And so these are two of the smaller sizes, um, with the little glimmery pieces. And here's the other thing that I really like about this is that I don't have to think on how to make it cute because while I plan to be creative for the most part, I'm going to use my cheater guide. They have a picture here of every single box. Now some of these pictures, um, for example, this star, which I don't know if you can see very well. Whoop. See all those cute little white parts? Those are not pre-printed, even though a lot of the stars do come pre-printed. They come like this. Um, a few of those are showing what it would be like if you took that star um, stamp set that was in here. Where'd it go? Yeah, I'm a sound effects girl, sorry. Um, so that was showing with these this here in the corner. So if you see a few of those that you're like, where'd that come from? That's what's going on. But they have all of those stars um, are here. This is the front and backs in the different colors. You'll see some of these are holes because I already made mine. So for the sake of this video, we are going to do this red star here. So you just pop it out. The nice thing is, is they're all die cut. So. Sometimes you have to tell them that no really, come out of your comfy home. So they have red, green. This is on the craft paper. Uh, so just like the craft um, cardstock that you can buy in 12 by 12 sheets or that you can get printed um, in the holiday catalog. So there we go. So there's our two bases. So see there's green and then there's the plain ones. These plain ones um, are die cut but you still need to do your stamping. So you would do, take these and stamp them, which we're not doing today. So there you go. So they are plain on one side. So if you really don't like a pattern, you could stamp your own design. Um, I like this red pattern. Now for each of those stars, here's the best part. No adhesive required. They have all of the sides for you. And on the sides, they have 
your adhesive. Now they have this tip in like the little tiny fine print because there's actually some instructions in this piece and this little insert. They have little tips, they have some instructions um, for the basic components and the little walkthrough. So if you don't remember what I said in this video, it's right here, step by step. Um, and in really tiny print here they say tip, pull out all of your pieces and um, separate so you say here's the star goes with this one and so on that really will be to your benefit similarly I started with the gigantic star and they said don't start with the gigantic star or don't start with the largest or the smallest I will say I agree with that so believe them when they say that so to start you're gonna take this this is also pre-scored so you can see all the bends are already there and you're going to just take, I actually went through and I folded all of these up because they're a little bit stiff. So we fold. Okay. So I folded all of those. You just pick one side, doesn't really matter, whatever is more comfortable. And you peel off. And I do this one at a time. And you take your star and you're just going to pick wherever you feel like starting. And you just line this up corner to corner. I like to do make it bend so that I can make sure that I'm in the right spot. Um, so I can line up this bend with that bend because that's just a little bit easier for me personally to visualize. Uh, and so you line that up and then you just press it down and then you repeat. So I usually, the nice thing is because these are kind of bendy, I can turn it this way, peel it off, and then put it back on. And just line up my edge. And then we do that for our whole, so you can see it starting to come together, and we'll do that for our whole side of the star. Okay, now once you've gone all the way around your star, you will have these white stickies on the inside. I don't exactly, oh, I know why they did that. I, did, I was never sure why they did that until just now. It's because if you were using the other side, so if I wasn't doing my red side, I was doing this side that I had stamped, I would want to peel in the other direction so that this would be on the outside. So that's why. So you will see the white in here. Don't take them off. You don't need to worry about it. It's just there to be there. And you'll end up with this extra little flap. So all you need to do is peel off the outside, the side that matches your pattern. And we'll just tuck it in so that it closes everything off nicely. So now I have half of my box. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing to go on the other side. I will peel off a piece. I actually start with a, t um, a point. I find in this case it just helped me a little bit because I can line up my points. So I have two pieces off and then I can just come along in here and I know I'm making this look harder than it is. Then I can just put one edge, the other edge, go down to my crack and then we'll do the same thing. I'll peel off and work my way all the way around my box. Okay, and once you have the last piece down, then you have this cute little box, it's 3D, stands up on its own, and now all we have to do is decorate it. Now again, this is where I take and I look at my little cheat sheet and say, I'm doing this one, um, and I chose that one because it's really cute uh, with the embellishments that come with it. So this kit comes with, you get sequins, they're silver sequins, you get this gold Baker's twine. You have two sheets of newsprint, um, banners and stars and these little things that make 3D bows which is what we're going to use in just a moment here. You have stickers that have bright and merry. That's what I used on the large box. There's that bright and merry. And some extra red stars. You have white banners and tags. I know it's a little hard to see, but these are two sheets of die cuts. And then the super duper snazzy um, wood die cut snowflakes. Now I will warn you, these are delicate. Don't try to, as you don't try to pull them out of the packaging, they will break because they are kind of thin, uh, but they're very cute. Uh, so for this particular star, I think we actually use one of the larger stars. Actually, I think I'm going to use, are these, the, these might be the same size. So, yeah. So we're going to use one of these. And then I'm going to take my white bow parts, which is this guy. So if you're going to make this the little pop-up bow that is shown in the picture, I'll show you what I'm going to make. 
Uh, can you see? I don't know if you can see it very well. That bow. That's what we're going to make. This is if you had the bow maker die that makes those really large gift box bows uh, that we have for our big shot. This is just a smaller scale version of the same thing. So I'm going to need both of these little ovaloid type, ovaloid, that's a new word, uh, type pieces and two tails. And so you'll take with your bone folder, or if you're like me and forgot your bone folder, you can curl it with your finger. Um, and then they recommend using the uh, Tombow green glue that we have. Uh, you could use glue dots or that in this case. I'll go ahead and use this. So you just put a little bit of the green glue, not too much, and then you can squeeze that closed. We'll just hold that for a second. Set that so you have a nice little piece. Set that aside. Do the same thing here. Put a little bit of glue. Fold it over. Squeeze. And those are the two parts of our bow that are going to stick up. So, oh, I think I forgot an extra piece. Well, I'll find that in a second. So then I add a little bit of glue on one of my little whale tails here. And then overlap half of my bow here. Then take the other tail, add a little bit of glue, add my bumpy bow part and then I should be able to take both these sides and overlap them and then I will put a little centerpiece so just one second here so I'll just tuck those together so I'll just go ahead and adhere my snowflake I just use again this sort of glue the nice thing is you can make it a little bit thin don't go too heavy otherwise it'll glob up at the side just enough so they stick down and put that in your center. And if you do like mine where a little bit got on the outside, it's okay, it dries clear. Best part of the whole thing. Okay, there we go. I knew I was missing a piece. See these little rectangles here? There's a little white one and that's what's gonna make your, cover up your center. So you can, I like to flip it over, put a little bit on the back side and that's where I'll start and I'll take my wrapper, stick it here, fold it over, and then I can stick it down. So I just wrapped that white piece all the way around, and I can add a little bit of glue, more glue on the back and stick it down here. And then if I want, I can just take a few sequins and I may, and I'll just add them with glue dots and spling it up. You can see the final version on, I'll have it up on my blog, northweststamper.com or nwstamper.com. But it's really quick and easy because they have the stickers, you have the glitter letters. So I have a piece, I have a Noel. You could add your sequins to the middle of your snowflakes, add some of that gold twine. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a little bit on here as a little bow or make it however you want. The other thing I forgot to show you is the gold. There's actually gold glimmer paper stars as well. Really pretty, that's where I got my ampersand. Um, that's where I got my words. I, I'm holding up on the back, it's a little bit easier to see, but there's all these stars and words like joy, Noel, wishes, peace, and then usually two, at least two of each one. So you can really go crazy. So. I hope this was helpful. You can see how easy it is to make these little stars. They're a great collection uh, to put on your mantle, put around your house, um, just be something cute and decorative or give them as gifts or put them on the top of your gift boxes. So many ideas. Um, another thing you could do is you could put a little hole, make it a little hanger so they're ornaments for your tree. Uh, or like I said, die cut or punch a hole out of the back and we can add a little sliding piece or a little flap so you can get into here um, to make them a treat box. So I will be posting more ideas over the next few weeks on my blog. So if you'd like to see more, you're welcome to swing by. Um, otherwise, if you have questions, let me know at jennifer at nwstamper.com. But I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have more questions or have um, some great ideas for how you use them, I'd love to hear. Take care and happy stamping.